Can Americans afford to have children? In this video, we're gonna find out, and we're gonna learn about something called a dink. A dink is a dual income, no kid home. We're gonna watch this video, why more Americans are going child free. We got married fairly young, and we both just decided for many reasons we didn't want kids. And then at some point we heard the acronym DINK and I think just really fell in love with it. There are more Americans that are deciding not to have children and it's purposeful. Nothing wrong with deciding not to have kids. Also, I'll start off there. I do think they look pretty young. It's, it's when I was like 22, I was saying that I didn't want kids either. That changed when I was 28 and now I have a two year old. To the rise of a new type of household more commonly referred to as dinks. Dual income, no kids. Uh, oh yeah, dual income, no kids. That's perfect for us. That's absolutely right. <laughs> children are the death of net worth. Yeah, no, children are the death of net worth, but at the same time, what is more important? <laughs> children are money. If you're living your life for money, yeah, don't have kids. But you're gonna have a sad, empty life. I mean, not that you need kids to have a full life, but if your life is only revolved around money, it's going to be sad and empty. Money will not will not make you happy. In 2022 is around 43% of households, and that's about a 7% increase from a decade previously. In 2022, 43% of Americans surveyed said they'd want to get married, mm -hmm. but just a little more than a quarter said they were sure about wanting. I'm honestly surprised that 43% of people said they want to get married. That seems like people don't want to do that anymore either. Do you want to have a child in the future? 28%, only 28% of people said yes. When did they survey these people? Because if they surveyed young people, um, I didn't say I wanted kids until I was like 27. So I probably would have said no as well, or not sure. The term dink is becoming more prominent now because of financial challenges. And they see children as just another financial challenge that maybe they, they don't want to take on. Yeah, children are a financial challenge, 100%. But it's totally worth it. So what's it like to live with a dual income and no children? And will it be the future of American households? It it can't be the future of American households because if every household went to dink, there would be no more households after one generation. Think that through. You need kids for the country to continue being a country. According to a 2023 survey of dinks, finance played a major role in their decision to not have children. Absolutely. Man, I feel like I'm stopping this video all the time. Of course, finance played uh, a role. People are broke. Student loans are crazy. The inflation is insane. You can bar hardly afford groceries. I could see if you don't have children, the fear of adding a kid to that mix would be terrifying. More than a quarter of respondents said they simply aren't able to financially yeah. support a child at the moment. Not surprised. When we advise clients about having children, we honestly don't even give them the full real details and the real numbers it's one of those things if you actually see the math of it all it might make you decide to not have children when we advise clients to have a kid we lie to them so that they do it and regret it later cost the family an estimated three hundred and ten thousand six hundred and five dollars to raise a child born in 2015 to age 18 adjusted for higher future yeah that's a stupid number that's dumb I heard that figure was 350 or 450 or even I've even heard people say it was 600,000 to the age of 18 for a child. What parent is going to have a child and then be like, you know what we should do for the next 18 years? Count every dollar we spend on this kid and see how it affected our net worth negatively. It's kind of a weird thing to see. And also, what if my kid becomes like a multimillionaire? Well, then I just good investment, you know, as long as he doesn't hate me. You can help me out. And that doesn't even include the cost of college. Doesn't include the cost of college. Yeah, I, I will agree. If you're wanting to pay for your child's college out of your own pocket, yeah, good luck. Because right now it's it's insane. In 16 years, it's going to be even crazier. Inflation it, within the child care market, it surpasses general overall inflation within um, the Why? economy. One of my very closest friends, uh, she's been struggling with the reality that the take-home pay she makes is about equal to what child care would be? 100%, yes. Good child care, that's one of the reasons why my wife is a stay-at-home mom. It's also because she really wanted to be a stay-at-home mom, as I wanted her to as well. We sat down and did the math, and it's like, <laughs> her salary was literally the cost of what good child care would be, and why would I pay someone I don't know to raise my child when I could have my most intimate friend and partner raise my child? To me, it's a no-brainer. If you're going to have kids, it to me, it makes more sense to have one parent stay home. Just, just 
for our situation it does. Seeing our friends really struggle with that balancing act has, I think, made me appreciate the flexibility that we have financially because we don't have children. <laughs> I wonder what their friends think when they watch this. They're like, dude, we're the reason they're dinks. They saw our kids and they don't wanna, they don't wanna have what we have. <laughs> <laughs> Dinks can also fully reap the benefits of combining their finances. Oh. To look at both of our benefits. incomes coming in and see how we're able to handle all of that because we don't have extra finances with a child. Okay. Yeah. 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 If you only focus on money, having a child makes no sense. None. There's so much more to life than just having money. At some point, when is it enough money? When is it enough things? When do we as Americans say we don't need all this crap? Like you don't need two cars that each have a thousand dollar car payment. You don't need that. You don't need a 4,000 square foot home for a family of four. You don't need that. You want those things. There are things that people desperately want a crap load of money for and you don't you don't need it you want it partially it's social media we look online and we see like well this couple at my age has the same thing i feel like i can't if we have kids we could never afford to do three vacations a year no but you get so many more rich experiences on top of that like having a child every day is amazing and beautiful when you have a family and for me my my most valuable commodity is my time and my relationships money is not i don't even care I don't care. I only want to use money so that I can spend more time with my family. Money isn't the only expense that Dinks can save on. The free time is actually one of the biggest things for me. So we built me a little office slash. I have a kid and I have free time. It's called wake up earlier than your kid, maximize their nap schedule, and stay up later than your kid. Now, if you want to live like a college student the rest of your life, then yeah, don't have kids. Not having children has given us the freedom to pursue other things. Yeah. Remodeling our home. I remodeled a home with a child. I know people who do it all the time. I am a beekeeper. I have a buddy who's a beekeeper. He's got four kids and they have a huge property and they do a lot of different things. They have the most hobbies I've ever seen. I'm really handy and I like doing stuff around the house. Cool, love that. I wouldn't have the time to just do that after work if I feel like it, if I had you know a child to care for you would I mean dude I run a whole music business on top of working a full-time job on top of doing a YouTube channel you have time you bring your child alongside that like when I have to work on music a lot of times I'll bring my son in. I'll show him my songs when I'm changing my guitar strings I'll bring my son in my record player back there my two-year-old six months ago could literally change a record out you have time it's just you have a little bit more distracted time Albeit, I'm not trying to hate on these people. I respect their choice. I don't want someone to become a parent who doesn't want to be a parent. Don't become a parent if you don't want to be a parent. That's a bad idea because then you become a crappy, bitter parent. I just want to advocate for those people who have kids that you didn't make the wrong choice or maybe you were surprised with the child. It wasn't a bad choice. You're, you're okay. Life is still great with a child. In my opinion, life is better with a child. Dinks with more disposable income to play with. Disposable yeah. income is power it's stability, and for many couples, it's security. No such thing as security. None. Having wealth cannot keep you alive longer. It is just a little blanket to fall on that we like to pretend is a bigger blanket than it really is, but it's not really, it's almost like arbitrary to me. What is that? What is that security? I'm gonna die anyways. Why do I need <laughs> to have a crap load of money left over? The security that having, you know, six months of income saved for emergencies gives. What did I just say? You that security was so helpful to us during COVID when I was out of work for six months. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I understand having a nest egg would be great, but I just think for some people it's not realistic and it's okay if you don't. We have more tolerance for chaos, I think, because of our savings. Yes and no. There's nothing more chaotic than a child. So I would say parents, especially parents with multiple children, have the most tolerance for chaos. You ever been around someone with like five kids? That's chaos. Ain't nothing gonna knock them down because it's already chaotic all the time. <laughs> Another 2021 study found that childless adults aged 55 and older had a personal median net worth of $153,900 compared to $130,400. Wait, age 55 and over? That's it? That's pretty bad. Median. Your whole net worth? That's bad, right? Biological parents. 
If you have a dollar and if you have to choose how to use it, a DIN can prioritize savings, retirements, investments. Yeah. When you have a dollar as a parent, you spend the dollar on your kids. But it doesn't hurt. I want to spend money on my son. I have more fun spending money on my son than I do spending money on myself. I just get a lot of joy out of seeing him happy. They're just missing a whole lot. And I'm, I'm, I'm trying to put into words what's being missed here in this video. And I think what's being missed in this video is you're trying to put a number, a dollar value on a child, on a life, on a person. The $310,000 to raise my son to 18, that is nothing. I would give that 20, I, there's no number. You could not convince me. No one in this world could give me enough money to get rid of my child. No one. There is no dollar amount. I want you to think about that kind of love for a second. When you love someone so much that hearing the money to me is ludicrous. It's like, why? who cares? It is so much better being a father than having a bunch of money. We can choose what our Man, aging years look fun. like because we've saved to plan Lord. for that eventuality. I'm realizing this video is all about finances and that's okay. If you, if you really don't wanna have a kid, I'm not judging you. If you wanna be a dink, be a dink. Do it. I wanted to be a dink until I was 27. I'm 30 years old. Then my wife got pregnant and I was still like nervous. I was like, oh crap, what's gonna happen to my YouTube channel? What's gonna happen to my music career? Am I gonna have to quit singing on the weekends? All these fears came up. What's gonna happen to our financial situation? Then I saw the first ultrasound and it was like, none of that mattered, none of it. I still remember vividly watching my son pump his little arms in the ultrasound. And I was like, oh my, he moves just like me. I, I love being a dad so much. And I wanted to react to this because I saw someone else's reaction and they were like validating it, validating it, validating it. You know, I have a different opinion. I, like I said, I'm not judging you if you choose not to have kids. Don't have kids if you don't want to have kids. But there are a bunch of people out there who, one, already have children who are going to see this and maybe feel like they made a mistake, which don't let that happen. You didn't make a mistake. Two, who got pregnant and now are reeling like, uh, we weren't trying to get pregnant. It's not a mistake. The child the child is important and, and meant to be born. And I think there's things that like we're missing. Like, like what if Martin Luther King Jr.'s parents were dinks? Then we wouldn't have him. Think of the most influential people on the planet. Their parents were nobodies, most of them. And I'm okay. Okay if I'm a nobody and I'm okay if my son's a nobody. I think being a parent is the greatest blessing and I highly encourage you to do it if you are a married couple in a healthy situation. If you are not and you're in horrible financial distress, then yeah, figure out your life first or try to. But if you accidentally get pregnant, it's okay. You're going to be okay. You'll figure it out. Sometimes you got to live day by day. That builds character. Sometimes you you've got to make ends meet. Okay, I was broke. We were broke when we got married. Our son has club feet, so he's maxed out the deductible on the hospital bills every single year. And I, I don't even care. You figure things out as you go. You don't need to be just rolling in cash right away. It's not real security. It is a false sense of security, but it's not real security. I don't want this video to drag on too long, so I'll stop it there. Thank you guys for watching.